come from nature and God, not from government. All God asks of you is faithfulness, faithfulness, faithfulness. Fighting for the family, standing for the church, laboring to return to a moral and biblically based culture. This is the American Family Association at AFA Today. Uh, and we welcome you to New York City uh, for AFA Today from the belly of the newsmaking beast. Uh, if you're watching on the AFA channel, uh, that, uh, that bull that's on Wall Street is uh, literally yards from where I sit in the, uh, in the shadow of the uh, Freedom Tower here at uh, Broadway and Wall Street, uh, basically the corner of Broadway and Wall Street uh, from the studios of AFA Today. Kevin McCullough, my name, and I'm honored to have you with us. Um, uh, it, is, it is an interesting uh, dilemma that I think uh, as we get into the next election cycle, some people are going to have to make some corrections. Um, it, it's, it truly is. It truly is. Um, you, you've got this tendency by the media to, to do the same thing over and over again and kind of never, ever filter what they're doing. It, it's, it's a strange, uh, it's a strange, strange thing. Um, if a, if a conservative mentions anything related to a woman, Okay, and it happens to have anything to do with birth control, uh, and it happens to have anything to do with uh, with with female reproduction. Then, the heads of people on the left literally explode. There's brain shrapnel all over newsrooms in New York City today. And I think it's a little bit. Uh, I think it's a little bit unnecessary, uh, but it is awfully fun to see that every time somebody because now they're not even now they're not even telling the truth. N- now, now what we've got uh, de- that we're dealing with in, in these scenarios is you've now got media members that cannot diagram a sentence in the English language that are writing stories and, quote, reporting on things that are said and, of course, hyperventilating and, and uh, watching their own brains explode. It's, 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 a, it's an amazing, surreal reality to watch this go down. And it's kind of fun, I, I, I have to admit. It's a Friday. It puts me in a jovial mood to know that, that journalists all across this country, again, that evidently failed English grammar, and evidently cannot diagram a basic sentence, um, are having their brains explode today. Now, why is that happening? Well, it has to do with my good friend, Governor Huckabee. Uh, Governor Huckabee yesterday spoke at, uh, where was he? Uh, Come on, where was he at? He was at a Republican uh, meeting yesterday. It's a Republican convention of some sort. I had it here. I don't know why I can't find it. Anyway, it was at this meeting that he was giving a speech. And he, as a conservative, mentioned women. And immediately some of the reporters in the room, "Uh uh-oh, conservatives talking about women. Ding, 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 ding. Red flags start raising up, and they're, okay, now, now, now we're listening. And then he mentioned something about sex and birth control, and that was it. Conservative, women, sex and birth control equals absolute, unbelievable, unmeasurable, and totally unrealistic, disproportional outrage across the media spectrum. Because it doesn't matter what they even say. Because these reporters that work in the media, they are so inept in the English, in the in the basic skills of the English language, they cannot even tell, they cannot even report properly what the governor said. Let me let you hear what Governor Huckabee said. Devin, fire that clip. I I think it's time Republicans no longer accept to the Democrats talk about a war on women. Because the fact is, uh, the Republicans don't have a war on women. They have a war for women, for them to be empowered to be something other 
than victims of their gender. Women I know are outraged that the Democrats think that women are nothing more than helpless and hopeless creatures whose only goal in life is to have the government provide for them birth control medication. Women I know are smart, educated, intelligent, capable of doing anything that anyone else can do. Our party stands for the recognition of the equality of women and the capacity of women. That's not a war on them, it's a war for them. And if the Democrats want to insult the women of America by making them believe that they are helpless without Uncle Sugar coming in and providing for them a prescription each month for birth control because they cannot control their libido or their reproductive system without the help of the government, then so be it. Let us take that discussion all across America because women are far more than the Democrats have played them to be. And women across America need to stand up and say, enough of that nonsense. And I think it's time we lead that discussion. All right, you can go to onenewsnow.com and see that clip for yourself. It's uh, on the story associated with this. But I, I want to take phone calls right now, 888-589-8840, 888-589-8840. I want you to tell me what Governor Huckabee just said, 888-589-8840, 888-589-8840. I need you, uh, pr preferably those of you that passed, that passed your English courses, uh, I need you to tell me what he just said. Because over on MSNBC today, uh, there, there are a lot of uh, uh, reporters, uh, specifically female, that are uh, saying things that I don't think he said. Uh, they're, they're saying that uh, his, his comments right there were disrespectful to women. Now, in order for those comments to be disrespectful for women, you have to do something with the English language that was not done there in that statement. The, the women have to be the subject of the ones he's talking about. He, he wasn't dissing women. But that doesn't stop people like Alexa Witt over at uh, MSNBC today um, accusing Huckabee of mansplaining to women. Mansplaining, that's a new term that they've come up with when they believe that some sort of, you know, Bible-thumping fundamentalist, insert Kevin McCullough in that, in that blank, uh, says something about the welfare of women, they, they believe that I don't have the right to say anything about the welfare of women because I, I ain't one. And so they say I'm mansplaining to th the women that are listening. I learned a long time ago, friend, by the way, this is a lesson that the lovely bride uh, brought me because she is, in my estimation, the smartest person I have ever met. And I've, I've, I've dined with world leaders. Uh, I, there's no one I've ever met that is smarter than the lovely bride. Uh, but I'm, I, I know at least enough to understand that as long as I'm not speaking on behalf of women, telling them what they think, they, they usually are, are more than willing to engage me in a conversation. I, I've also discovered this, and it may be really shocking to uh, the people on the left, but when you're actually polite to women, even feminists, even angry man-hating feminist that breathe fire out their nose and, ah, oh, man, ah. Uh, even if you treat them with respect and kindness, they will actually uh, not think you're the devil incarnate. But, but Governor Huckabee is, is being raked over the coals across MSNBC today because they're saying that he was disrespectful to women. Devin, I want you to cue that clip back up, and I want us to play it again, because I want people to hear it, and then I want you to tell me what he is saying by calling 888-589-8840, 888-589-8840. Here's Governor Huckabee once again. About a war on women. Because the fact is... Uh, the Republicans don't have a war on women. They have a war for women, for them to be empowered to be something other than victims of their gender. Women I know are outraged that the Democrats think that women 
are nothing more than helpless and hopeless creatures whose only goal in life is to have the government provide for them birth control medication. Women I know are smart, educated, intelligent, capable of doing anything that anyone else can do. Our party stands for the recognition of the equality of women and the capacity of women. That's not a war on them, it's a war for them. And if the Democrats want to insult the women of America by making them believe that they are helpless without Uncle Sugar coming in and providing for them a prescription each month for birth control because they cannot control their libido or their reproductive system without the help of the government, then so be it. Let us take that discussion all across America because women are far more than the Democrats have played them to be. And women across America need to stand up and say, enough of that nonsense. And I think it's time we lead that discussion. All right. All right. So there it is. There's the governor, Governor Huckabee. Again, uh, and, and, and what, what is being reported is that he said women couldn't control their libido. What, what he's saying is that uh, women uh, should be victims. That, that's what people are saying he said. Uh, 888-589-8840. Uh, particularly if you are female, I would love to engage you in a conversation today about exactly what it was that Governor Huckabee said, and if, in fact, he was being patently offensive to uh, the women of America. Let's talk to uh, Ruth calling from Virginia. Ruth, you're up first. Welcome. Kevin McCullough, glad to be with you. Hi, Kevin. It's glad, I'm glad to be with you, and I'm glad you're taking up this topic today. I totally agree with Governor Huckabee as far as women's rights and things go, and women have been empowered to be more than they could be in years past but I want you to know there is more going on at the Republican National Committee, and that is one of their members from Michigan has been asked not to be there. And it's because he posted uh, some posts, reposted on his Facebook, some posts about homosexuality and some things about Muslims. He's been a state representative in the state of Michigan and was known as uh, the most conservative as the six years that he was in, became the Republican National Committee man for Michigan in May of 2012, has been very vocal about traditional marriage and upholding the values of the Republican Party. But the Republican Party has uh, pretty much barred him uh, from anything they want to do. Okay, Ruth, because I haven't because I haven't personally reviewed what he posted, I'm not going to get into a, a position where I'm defending him or attacking you him. I'll leave that him. until I have a chance to look that over. I'd like to stick to the topic. Um, did you hear Governor Huckabee say that you, in fact, cannot control your libido? I did not hear that. I heard him say the government who wants to hand out birth control thinks we can't control our libido. See that's what that's what I thought I heard too. And and that's what I that's what I think if someone has I don't know like a second grade level of English grammar uh, that they would probably come to the conclusion of. Now I reached out to to governor just before we went on the air and um, he sent me this note. He said, "Kev, what I want you to know is is what I said yesterday is nearly identical to my opening mon- monologue from last weekend's show." On Fox. Um, it airs several times. It's viewed by several million people and no one objects. Today I say the same thing and it's erroneously tweeted to mean the polar opposite by Dana Bush and Casey Hunt of NBC, who both later had to correct their tweets because they totally blew it. Not only did they blow it, they can't read or write the English language. Shouldn't that be a prerequisite for uh, getting to be a reporter in America? I'm Kevin McCullough. Governor Huckabee under attack from the left for saying that women can't control their libido, but did he? We'll continue on AFA Today as we continue here on AFR Talk. Stay with us.